I looking lovely? Ain't my character looking just so ferocious and evil? It's like a flaming evil wizard with his hands all out saying, come get some. As he's harnessing the magical abilities of everything. Lightning, fire, the whole nine, the storm. So what is going on YouTube? The assist man. And yes, I am coming back at you guys with another Neverwinter YouTube video. Inside of this video, man, what I'm going to cover is part of a new series I'm going to do throughout the next couple of weeks on my channel. And it's going to be the top five of everything currently in Neverwinter, in my opinion. So in this video, what I'm going to cover are the top five companion bonuses for offensive, defensive, and utility currently in Neverwinter Mod 16. So if you guys do enjoy this video, man, please do not forget to hit that thumbs up like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Subscribing is absolutely free. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, before I go ahead and get into it, I got a bonus, a bonus for you guys. I am actually using a new type of companion, a summoned companion. Now, this video is going to be all about compa actual companion bonuses. So, like, when you go to companion, these things right here. You know, your three offensive powers, your one defensive power, your one utility power. I also do want to point out that this video is for DPS classes, because I only play DPS. I don't do the tank thing or the cleric thing, so this video is for DPS classes. But now, as a summoned companion... The new companion that I am using, and yes, I know that theoretically a lot of people always, you know, think and thought, and it is true, that the bullet pup is the best summon companion to use, which theoretically it almost is. But I was using the Red Dragon Ion Stone because I liked the way it looked. If you watched any of my previous videos, as well as my Control Wizard build video, you will notice that I was using the Red Dragon Ion Stone. But I found a better one. And this one, in my opinion, is pretty much better than the Bullet Pup. And I'm going to tell you why. So, the companion that I am using is this one right here. It is called the Ayako Sahedrin Ion Stone. And the reason why I think that this is the best summoned companion to use in the game is because, just like the Bullet Pup, it actually has a lot of the same exact bonuses on it, which is really, really, really good. You see, the Bullet Pup was really good because it was only one of five augment companions that has power and Another thing it had was combat advantage. So the bullet pup was the best because it has 1,000 power, 1,000 combat advantage, and 1,000 defense added to its augment enhancement bonus, making it better than pretty much a lot of the other ones. But there is another one. This Ico Sahedrin, if I'm saying this thing right, Ion Stone gives you 1,000 power as well, 1,000 combat advantage as well, and 1,000 critical strike. And what makes this companion better to me is, I don't know about you guys, but my friends and many of people have told me and had issues with the bullet pup actually not engaging in combat with you. There are plenty of times when you're going through dungeons, especially in the lair of the Mad Mage, where your bullet pup will lag behind you and get stuck in an area. And then you will not be receiving any of his bonuses as you progress through the dungeon. You actually have to unsummon it and resummon it. With this Ico Sahedrin Ion Stone, you do not have to resummon it. It stays on you all the time. And as you can see by looking at my picture, it's just basically a little you know, thing that's following around your head. It's really small. I definitely think that the Red Dragon Ion Stone looks a million times better. Um, what this basically is, it's like the 20-sided dice found in Dungeons & Dragons that's following your head. So you see it following around my head. That's just a bonus tip for you guys. But without further ado, man, let's go ahead into what I think are the best top five companions in each category for offensive, defensive, and utility companion bonuses. These things right here. Now, I do want to let you guys know that even though I'm doing a top five, 
I strongly, strongly recommend you guys to use something that's really in the top three because most of the ones that are like one and two and sometimes three are so much better than the ones that are coming in at four and five. It would actually not be really that good for you to use anything that's ranked four or five. But if you can't afford to, then you have options and depending on the way you play and depending on how much stats you have, you do have options. So, number one, let's go for offense. Okay, offense, offensive companion bonuses. Number one, in my opinion, is the Deep Crow Hatchling, and this is going to give you 8,000 power at Legendary. So, power is very hard to come by in this mod, and it makes a big, big difference. I would definitely recommend for you guys to be using the Deep Crow Hatchling. It is the only companion that's going to give you 8,000 power at Legendary. So, yeah, 8,000 power is going to be a lot more damage. You know, depending on how much power you have, it's going to be on average around 3% of your entire damage bonus with 8,000 more power. So, coming in at number one is going to be the Deep Crow Hatchling. And the offensive power that it has is called Baby Deep Crow's Presence, giving you 8,000 power. Coming in at number two, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, this actually could be in contention of being the number one best offensive companion in the game, but the good thing is you don't have to choose just one because DPS classes have three offensive slots. So no matter what, you want to be using this, but coming in at number two is the Death Slot. This is one of the companions that I mentioned about two months ago when I did my companion video and I talked about it because its bonus looked amazing. Now that I have gotten one at Legendary and further testing it, I can confirm to you guys it is amazing. This thing does a ton of damage. So the Death Slod and its companion, its companion bonus is called Death Slod's Presence. And what it does is it says you have a 10% chance to infect your target with a poison that does 40% weapon damage and stacks up to 5 times. After the 5th stack, it explodes into a storm of poison damaging all enemies within 15 feet radius. Um, yeah. Let's just put it like this. I've been testing this thing, using this thing. It is ridiculous. It does a ton of damage. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and go to the target dummies and uh, I will show you guys just how much damage this thing does. Now mind you, it scales with weapon damage so if you have level 80 weapons it's going to do the most damage and obviously it's going to do its most damage at legendary when it gives you the 40% extra bonus. But what this thing does is when it procs, it poisons the target and for me does a little over 1600 damage uh, per hit and it ticks 10 times. So watch, I'm going to show you. You're going to see on my screen when it pops up, something's going to come up called Poisonous Intent. And then that is going to be proccing the Death Slot's power. Watch. Right there, Poisonous Intent. Now look what it's doing. Look at the combat log, I have it open. It is doing 1,682 damage, and you see a green poisonous cloud on the target dummy. So look at the combat log. When it actually happened, it did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ticks of 1,682 damage each. That is 16,820 damage per tick, and it stacks 5 times. And that's not even including the poisonous explosion. I'm not even going to go into any further testing on this thing. You should be able to see by now. It's freaking amazing. So coming in at number three was the death slot. Oh, I'm sorry, number two was the death slot. Possibly number one. Let's talk about the number three best offensive companion to use in your offensive companion bonus slot. And that is the tamed Velociraptor. It has an offensive power at Legendary called Raptor's Instincts. It says you are part of the pack. You and any allies that are part of the pack gain 2,000 power. This effect may stack up to five times. I've talked about this companion in the past. Basically, if you and your four friends you run dungeons with all have a tamed Velociraptor, and you all have it slotted in your offensive power slot, you will each get 10,000 power. Each of you will get 10,000 power each. It is amazing. So make sure that you are using it because it comes in on number three. And you always, like I said, for DPS classes, you have three offensive powers. Though These are the ones I'm using. These are the ones I would be using if I was you. But there are other options, especially, especially if you are different classes. 
Which brings me to number four. The number four best offensive companion, in my opinion, is the Hunting Hawk. Now, the Hunting Hawk, I actually have it. Um, I could go ahead and put it on real fast. Let's take off my death slot. And he is in here, and I have him at Legendary. And it's called Hunting Hawk's Presence. It says, damage bonus increases as the range increases with a maximum of 2% per the companion quality. Which means at Legendary, which this one is, you get 10% more damage bonus as you get further away from your target. Now, there is a disclaimer about this thing and why I did not put it higher. Is that it only works and procs off of at wills. It does not give you the damage bonus on encounters. It does not give you the damage bonus on weapon enchantments. And it does not give you the damage bonus on dailies. So it only gives you a 10% damage bonus if you are at maximum range on your at wills. But there are some classes that use a lot of at wills. And depending on how far you get from the, from the target, you could be getting up to 10% damage bonus. In my test, I've noticed that on average, you're going to get a 6% damage bonus on your at wills. Because normally, if you were standing like right here, or even like right here from your target, that's going to proc about a 6% damage bonus. Now, if you were standing like right here from your target, that's going to be about an 8% damage bonus. And if you were standing really further back around like right here, that is going to be about a 10% damage bonus. So depending on how far you attack from the target could depend on how high the damage bonus is going to get. Like I said, about right here, it's 10%. About right here, it's about 8%. About right here, it's about 6%. And about right here, is around 5%. So it's still really, really good to use. Coming in at number five of the best offensive companions, and I have one, and it is also at legendary, and that is going to be the mercenary. And the mercenary at legendary will give you 4,000 power and 2,000 combat advantage. Power and combat advantage are two of the most important things, if not the most important things for DPS classes to stack to do more damage. So you should definitely have this if you cannot afford or do not have any of the other ones. But like I said in the beginning, I would strongly recommend not to use the mercenary. I would strongly recommend for you guys to use the top three ones I said, which would be the Deep Crow Hatchling, the Death Slot, and the Tamed Velociraptor if you are a DPS class. So... I would use the top three, but you have options in the top five. Now let's go ahead and get into defense, the top five defensive companions. Now, for DPS classes, we only have one defensive slot. So you pretty much just want to use one. And the number one one I think to use is the Minstrel. At Legendary, the Minstrel will give you 4,000 power and 2,000 awareness. It is the only defensive companion in the game that gives you power. 4,000 power. There is another one called the Ion Stone of Allure, which gives you 2,000 power, so obviously it's not as good. So coming in at number one for the defensive is the Minstrel, because 4,000 power is pretty good to have. But there is another companion that might be just as good, and if not better in some cases. And I don't have him, and I don't even know if he's for sale in the auction house, and his name is called Splinters. It was one of the companions that you got during the Halloween event last year. Let's find him. He's here. Splinters is here. At Legendary. So this is showing you a companion at Green on the auction house because I do not have a Splinters. At Legendary, Splinters will give you 4% increased critical severity and 2,000 critical avoidance. The 4% critical severity might actually be worth more than the 4,000 power as far as DPS and damage goes. I haven't actually tested this yet because I don't have one, but I plan to in the future. But the Splinters can very well be the number one companion for defensive slots in the game, but I don't know for sure. It's definitely a contender at number two, but I would still put it at number two for now because the Minstrel, you're going to get 4,000 power. Coming in at number three for the defensive slot is another companion I do not own, and it is called the Laughing Skull. And what makes the Laughing Skull good, let's see if there's any on the auction house, there you go, at green. Now what makes the Laughing Skull good at legendary is it gives you 4,000 combat advantage and 2,000 defense. 4,000 combat advantage, very good stat to have. 2,000 defense is another great stat to have. It's always good to have your defense at the cap so you do not take as much damage. So Laughing Skull coming in at number three in the defensive slot. Coming in at number four 
in my opinion, is another companion I do not have, and it is called the Green Slime. Are they earning on the auction house? There are. The Green Slime at Legendary will give you 8,000 defense. Could be very, very good if you're not at the defensive cap and you want more survivability, or even for tanks. It's, I think, the only companion in the game that gives you 8,000 defense. And coming in at number 5 is another companion I do not own. Let's see if there are any on the auction house. And it is called a, Dwer a Dwerger Guard. I don't even know how to say that name. Dwerger Guard. And what it does at Legendary is it gives you 8,000 critical avoidance. So, once again, another good stat to have if you're taking a lot of damage, or if you're a tank class or something like that. There's not too many companions that give you 8,000 of any single stat in the game. This is one of them at Legendary will give you 8,000 critical avoidance. But, like I said before, I would you only have one defensive slot for DPS. I would not use 5, 4, or 3. I would basically toss it up between the Minstrel for 4,000 power, 2,000 awareness, or the Splinters for 4% increased crit severity and 2,000 critical avoidance. I personally like using the Minstrel because I'm finding it very, very hard to get to the cap on my awareness, so by losing an additional 2,000 awareness, it would be very bad because I'm around 2,000 under the cap now. So that's why I like the Minstrel personally. Now let's go and get into the utility slots. The top five best utility slots. Now, on DPSs, we have one utility slot. So this is going to be, you know, kind of like between where you want to be. And in this one, I'm really only going to get four of them. I'm not even going to do a top five because I really think that there's not many good options here. And the ones that are like really in the top three are probably like in my opinion the best ones to um, to actually lose to, i'm sorry to actually use but we're gonna go ahead and talk about them so coming in at number one for utility is the alpha compi it increases your power by five percent and ten percent while you are in cholt which means anytime you're in cholt omu uh, cradle of the death god or tomb of the nine gods it will increase your power by 10 percent anywhere else will be five percent the problem with this companion is that you can no longer get it it is very 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 hard to um buy or get because unless you have one they're extremely expensive on all platforms and honestly if you don't have one i don't think it's worth it because you can see on xbox currently they're 20 million ad and um is an increase of five percent power Worth 20 million AD? Hell no, it's not worth 20 million AD. So unless you have one, I wouldn't use it. So, but if you have one, it's still the number one best utility companion to use. I have one, you know, I got it a long time ago when they were like 4 million AD. So, uh, yeah, I bought it and I have it and I've had it for like 7 months now. So obviously, that's why I'm using it. So it is number one. Coming in at number two, and this is kind of a weird one because I just talked about this companion, and once again, it's the Hunting Hawk that I placed at number four in offense. And the reason why is because you see if you go to Utility Powers, the Hunting Hawk is there, and you see if you go to Offensive Powers, the Hunting Hawk is there. The Hunting Hawk actually can be used in an Offensive or a Utility slot on your um, companion bonuses. It's versatile. It can be placed in offensive or utility. So if you don't have an alpha compi, you definitely want to be slotting a hunting hawk in your utility slot to get more damage, anywhere from 5 to 10% more damage on your at wills. So it's really, really good. Number three is another companion that I talked about in my control wizard build video. And um, it's a really, really good companion. And I talked about it before. And it's called the Cockatrice. And basically, you just go to Xbox or wherever you're at, go to the auction house, and type that in. And then once you type that in, wow, these things really went up in price. Holy hell. Basically, what it does is that legendary, it gives you a 10% chance to do 40% weapon damage and root the source of the damage for 6 seconds. Currently, it is overperforming on Xbox and um, it currently just got patched on PC. It's it's proccing a little bit more than it should be. So it's not going to proc as much once we get the newest patch that PC just got, but it is still very, very good. It's going to do damage back to the target when it hits you, and it is going to root them in place, making you do more damage against them if you have something that does increase damage to rooted targets, or they can't chase you down and kill you because they're rooted in place for six seconds. So it's really, really good. 
And then coming in at number four is another companion for a utility slot, and it is called the Barbarian Shaman. You can get it at blue in the auction house. And at legendary, we'll give you 4,000 combat advantage and 2,000 power. Once again, combat advantage is a great stat to stack for, uh, for DPS as well as power. So Barbarian Shaman at Legendary will give you 4,000 of combat advantage and 2,000 of power. And last but not least, the number five, I know I said I was only going to do four, but I'm doing five, basically. Number five is going to be the Energon. Now the Energon is a really, really good summon companion to get action points back if you're having problems with action points, but I wouldn't use it for DPS as a summon companion, but its player bonus power is really, really good. At Legendary, is going to give you 40,000 more hit points. It gives you 32,000 um, at Purple, as it says, so at Legendary, should give you 40,000 more hit points. This very, very well could be a best in slot for tank classes, but for DPS classes, if you're really low on hit points, you know, it's still not a bad option, and Purple ones of these things are really cheap in the auction house, so, you know, they're only like 20k, or you can go farm Dread Legion and pick one up. You, they have a really high drop rate in there. So, but like I said, once again, I would not use the Energon. I wouldn't use the Barbarian. I wouldn't even use the Cockatrice, really. I would probably, in your one utility slot, if you only have one, like most DPS classes do, I would use the Alpha Compi. If you do not have the Alpha Compi, then by far, I would use the Hunting Hawk. So, that is my top five companion powers to use in Mod 16. Currently, these are the uh, offensive powers, defensive powers. And utility powers. These are the ones I'm using. Even though I've changed a lot on my build since last time I did it. Um, I will have an updated Control Wizard build coming out sometime within the next couple of days to a week. I'm still testing a lot of stuff. Like I said in the last video. And I have changed a lot of things on my build as well. Not a lot, but a few. But one of the things I definitely changed was slot, uh, slotting in the death slot for my offensive power. So, once again, top five offensive companions. Number one, Deep Crow Hatchling. Number two, Death Slot. Might even be number one. Number three, Tamed Velociraptor. Number four, Hunting Hawk. Number five, Mercenary. Top five defensive companions. Number one, Minstrel. Number two, Splinters. Could even be number one. Number three, Laughing Skull. Number four, Green Slime. Number five, Dwegger Guard. Top five utilities. Number one, Alpha Compi. Number two, Hunting Hawk. Number three, Cockatrice. Number four, Barbarian Shaman. And number five, Energon. Like I said multiple times in this video already, I would highly recommend to you guys, you should pick between something in the top three or the top two, because they're that much better. The Minstrel and the Splinters is that much better than the Laughing Skull, Green Slime, and Dwerger Guard for defense, and the Alpha Compi and Hunting Hawk is that much better for DPS for utility slot over the Cockatrice, Barbarian Shaman, and the Energon. So anyway, man, these are all the ones I listed. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Were you guys already using some of these ones? If you are, how do you like them? Do you agree with me? Or do you disagree with me? Do you got some better ones? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. So anyway, man, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, please do not forget to hit that thumbs up like button. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do so as well. So YouTube, this is The Assist Man. And until next time, I am out.